Hello and welcome. Um, today is going to be a lecture on linear Diophantine equations. Uh, not my area of expertise at all. Uh, I remember doing a little bit of that during my first year degree on a mixed algebra course, a little taster of many different topics, and we've done a little bit of that. Um, so I'll be learning today uh, as much as I'm trying to teach you. So the equation is basically 13x plus 11y is equal to 414 and we try to find um, all integer values, positive integers in fact, uh, that balance this particular equation. So uh, we're looking for a special type of uh, um, solution. <coughs> You're also going to have to put up with Markov, which um, has uh, gone very bad recently, so I have to make the conscious choice of either recording uh, with some cough or no recording at all uh, forever. So um, please uh, bear with me. Okay, this is my method and I had to look in my university notes for that. So the first thing for something like that is to make the coefficients of X and Y equal. So I'm gonna do that by writing this as two X plus 11 X plus 11 Y is equal to 414. So a kind of um, I'm writing stupid things there, 414. So I wrote the 13x as 2x plus 11x. And the next thing we can do on something like that is to say, okay, 11x uh, plus 11y uh, is equal to perhaps, um, <clears throat> um, um, we can write this as uh, uh, 414 minus 2x. And the reason we've done that is to divide the 11. So x plus y is equal to the 414. I can write it as I'm dividing by 11. So I'm going to write it as 220. Uh, that divides by 11 plus 77. That's 297. 297 plus 17. So uh, maybe... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> no, I'm too short, I beg your pardon. I'm writing stupid things. I'm going to do it here so you can see what I'm doing. This is my division, 330. Uh, that divides by 11. And that I need to go to 414 by another number, which is divisible by 11, so that's 77. Uh, so that's uh, 307 plus 7. That's to be divided by 11 minus 211 x all I'm doing there is nothing, is not part of the solution there. It's just basically a way of dividing. You can do a little long division, short division, whatever division you call it that you learn in the primary and get uh, this, the same thing that I'm gonna get in the next line. So X plus Y is equal to 30 plus 7 minus 211 minus 211 X. So I can actually say, you know, X plus Y minus 37, this is this bit here, is equal to 7 elevenths minus 2 elevenths x. Now this, since x and y are natural numbers, take away 37, is going to be an integer. Therefore, that has to be an integer. And I'm not gonna say this is equal to, but certainly I can say also, and not that it matters, I just don't like it ugly like that. 2 elevenths x minus 7 elevenths is an integer. Okay, so it's the negative of that basis. So if that turned out to be, I don't know, uh, 32, that's the minus 32. All right, I continue from there now as follows. I take this bit here, which I know is an integer. And I can also say, if I'm any multiple of this, will also be an integer. Look at the 11 that I've got in there. <clears throat> um, I'm trying to multiply this particular quantity by something that's gonna be one more than 11. So for what I've got in there, <coughs> six times two elevenths x, minus 7 elevenths is also an integer. 
lots of writing for this and my hand has the shakes as well today oh god nothing is right minus 42 elevenths is an integer i really should be writing belongs to z here okay uh, for all of this but uh, that's gonna be awesome maybe i didn't think of it okay so now i'm going to rewrite this again so i can say the reason i went one more is because i want a coefficient of one over something so x plus one over 11 x minus uh the f so from this one i'm gonna have a three that's to 33 three and from 33 i go seven um minus nine elevenths or something i hope it is that also belongs to z and therefore one eleventh x minus ninth elevenths that and that since all of this is an integer okay will also be an integer because that that bit together with the minus three is an integer i'm adding these two quantities i still get an integer therefore this two i uh, lost the 11 in there somewhere okay is also an integer so i'm going to call this integer now once i reach that stage so try to make a note go through a few questions like this um and i'll do one more video on on that um to uh, kind of like learn the method is an integer so this integer now i'm going to give it a name and i'm going to say this integer now is k and therefore for my example there i can times the 11 across is equal to 11k so i'm going to make some space which i can rewrite as 11k plus 9 so this particular kind of parametric if you want equation 4x okay gives me the possible values of x but of course x and y are related by these equations and therefore i can also find the y so what i'm going to do now is get the same thing but for y so this is part of a general solution if you prefer so i found x is of must be of the form 11k plus 9 okay um so i can substitute that now into my equation and get my y so 13 lots of 11k plus 9 plus 11y must be equal to 414 um 13 elevenths um this at this stage will be uh, cancelling out so i'm gonna write it at uh, <clears throat> actually it doesn't really matter let's pretend we don't know this fact <coughs> so 143k plus 913 90 uh, 27 117 plus 11y is equal to 414 um 143k plus 11y and i go 414 take away 117 Seven one two nine one uh, two nine seven is equal to two nine seven. Now at this stage, this will be divisible by eleven. This I of course I already know, but um, I cannot really think at the moment, and I'm not a purist, and I really never thought about it. But every question I've done, uh, the same thing happens. So if we divide this by eleven. Um, this is, of course, I'm going to get, because that's 13 times 11, I'm going to get 13K plus 11Y. And the 297, I can write, I'm divided by 11, so that's a 220 uh, plus 77. So if you divide by 11, that will be now 27, so it's equal to 27. Um, so um, let me... Just rub off uh, these workings on the right hand side and therefore and the 11 of course i've gone from there what am i saying i've divided by 11 so from this line to this line and therefore my y is going to be 27 so for the form 27 minus 13k so this is now a set of parametric equations in terms of the parameter k where k of course 
is an integer. And we want all the solutions, all the solution pairs in X, which balance that. <coughs> so, uh, first of all, K cannot be a negative number. And the reason for that is if we put a negative number for K, this parametric equation, okay, is going to produce a negative X. And we said X must be a positive integer. Therefore, we have to start higher. And the higher number, K is equal to zero, will produce a solution pair that will produce X is equal to nine and Y is equal to 27. So that's a solution pair for this particular equation. Then what about K is equal to one? X will be 20 and Y um, will be equal to uh, uh, <coughs> 14 there. Brown brain's misfiring really badly this morning. I do apologize, the medication. I'm making excuses. It sounds like I'm making excuses, but I promise you it's not. I'm not feeling good. Uh, that's 22 now. 22 plus 9. X is equal to 31. And Y will be now 20. Six, so that will be y is equal to one, and there's no more solutions because when we put k is equal to three, it doesn't work again. I should have put k is equal to minus one, no sol, and of course it gets even worse. You got minus two and so on, and again there's no solutions again because um, this time the y equation this will become a thirty nine. And I'm going to go in the negatives for the Y. So for this particular uh, question, okay, there are three solution pairs for positive integers. There are no six solutions, of course. That goes with that. That goes with that. And that goes with that. And uh, this was just a, a quick introduction to this type of equation. As I said, I'm not uh, saying I'm an expert in all of this. In fact, I had to revise from my university solutions from my first year to see a method for that. And I'm sure the experts in number theory um, that can show you or some other books might demonstrate different types of solutions. I'm sure that they are. I haven't come across them. I haven't got them. And therefore, I, I can only show you this particular method. Um, I'm going to do one more video on this and then... Please try to make up your own or if you have some in the book, try your method, try to follow these steps um, and um, I hope uh, it all works for you. I'm going to be signing out and I'll see you real soon with more videos on maths. Bye for now.